is going to be based on engine RPM here, and we're going to be based on gear. And we're going to see that the values in the table are all set at 25. What we're going to want to do to start our tuning process off is zero this table out. We're going to want to go ahead and baseline off of our wastegate spring and see what that's at. Now our, base, our wastegate spring is going to vary between different cars. So we're, you know, if we put a six pound spring in, we want to know that we're building six pounds and we want to test that out. And now once we do that, we can simply just walk the, the uh, duty cycle up here and start walking the amounts up and seeing what that gives us to boost. So if we found 10% duty cycle may not give much of a difference, but beyond wastegate, once you get up to about 20% duty cycle or 15% duty cycle, we're going to start seeing that the solenoid actually starts to move enough air to push the valve down on the wastegate and it's going to start to increase boost. And as we get up here um, higher and higher in duty cycle percentages, we're going to find that the range of control is typically between 20% duty cycle to around 80%. So if we're below 20%, we're not going to find that it does much of anything. And above 80%, that's not going to do much of anything because they're already flowing so much air into the solenoid or so much pressure that there's not much left to really push down the valve anymore to speed the turbo up. So we're going to find a range of 20 to 80% in this table. Now, if we want to do boost by gear, and let's just say first gear we wanted to do wastegate, we would go into our table here, control J, hit zero, and that's going to put us on wastegate. So 0% duty cycle will go all the way to wastegate spring. And if we're going and we wanted to ramp our boost in the gear, so we have a ramping effect, so let's just say we wanted to start off the gear in six pounds and then ramp up to 14 pounds in second, what we would do is figure out whatever the duty cycle is. Let's just say 50% duty cycle gave us 50% duty cycle gave us 14 pounds, and we wanted to ramp it. And we say 30% gave us six pounds. We would go and uh, say our red line here was about 8,500. We go up to the top of the gear, set this to 50%. We would go and then just start walking our values down here as we go down in RPM. And what would happen is as we drive in second and we drive up through this RPM range here, the duty cycle will increase. Therefore, the boost will start to increase and it'll have this ramping effect. Now, what I always suggest is in sixth gear, whatever you find for fourth or fifth gear to be your, your duty cycle to PSI, always turn down your boost at least two to three percent duty cycle here so that you don't get over boosting. The higher you go in the gear for a given duty cycle percentage will increase the boost another one or two pounds of what I found. So even in 